And hello to you from the English Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City and they take on Southampton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 10, James Madison. Number 7, Harvey Barnes. And number 22, Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Good luck. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. And here's how it looks for Southampton. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Thank you, King Power Stadium. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Tielemans and he read it well defensively superb effort to keep it in Che Adams well attacking possibilities perfect tackle Harvey Barnes. He's protecting it effectively. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Zhe Yunchu. James Madison. Daka. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oriol Romeo. Perrault on the ball. Not the pass he had in mind. Oriol Romeo looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead and the referee says corner kick Who can he pick out? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one?
Let's see about the delivery. Struggling to get it away. Well, nothing comes of it. Chalarze Yunchu. Madison with it. Tielemans being egged on by the fans. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And he's fired over the corner. And did his job defensively. Ndidi. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And still an opportunity. James Madison. Well, the Leicester fans are certainly playing their part. Every time they win the ball back, a roar goes up around this stadium. An alert piece of defending. Jay Adams. What can they do from here? Romeo. Can he put it in? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. And breaking at pace with Menace. Daka. Still passing it around with authority. Careless in possession. And a chance to whip it in here. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. And over it comes. Didn't quite go to plan. Madison. He might be onto something. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Jay Adams Stuart Armstrong good defending well as the stats confirm Leicester have had the lion's share of possession but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far they just haven't had enough guile in the final third it's all been a bit too predictable which has to change if they want to win this one and he's in the well, last gasp defending but brilliant defending Ward Prowse, Bednarek, Romeu, Perrault on the ball, Elianusi, Salisu, the ball with James Ward Prowse. Out of play it goes, goal kick. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The two teams have switched around. 
and are ready now for the second half. Barnes. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Who can he pick out? Smuggled away. Madison. Here's Tielemans. And taken away. He won the ball. Romain Perrault. On the ball, Mohamed Elianoussi. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. Ricardo Pereira. Wesley Fofana. Fofana. Here's Tielemans. Ndidi. Daka. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Will he play it in? And giving it away. Ward Prowse. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Daka. It did look on for them, but not to be. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Oh, that's a fine pass. Armstrong. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Played over. And the danger's still on. Well, no damage done. So a throw in here. James Madison. Now they've lost it. A chance maybe from the wide position. Options in the middle. Really good challenge.
Ricardo Pereira. Tielemans. Beautifully weighted ball. Tielemans. Untidy on the ball. Elianusi. Well, they've given him too much space. And cut again from the flank. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well timed tackle. Ten minutes to go. Daka. They do pass the ball with authority. They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Elianusi. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Stuart Armstrong. He's in control of the situation. And Leicester with the ball again. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Crossing opportunity. And a throw-in it's going to be. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Mohamed Salisu. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. He's got space. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Intense pressure. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. Underway again, and Southampton with the advantage here. And that is the end of the game. The referee blows for full time, and not exactly the result Leicester City fans were hoping for. A defeat for them, your assessment of the performance. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserved a point at least and it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. But it just seems of this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was. And they kick off here. Who can he pick out? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Being egged on by the fans. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, they would 
well done had it not been for the keeper well they should be ahead now yes it was a good save and what a magical save it was can he put them in front he does and with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama.